compared with conventional light sources that first convert electrical energy into heat and then into light, LEDs or light emitting diodes convert electrical energy directly into light, delivering efficient light generation with little wasted electricity. When connected to an Arduino pin, it can brighten up a room. What happens when you put two LEDs in one pin? Well, you get two times the brightness. Most common LEDs require a current rating of about 10 to 30 milliamps, with 12 to 20 milliamps being the most common range. The LED current must be less than the maximum permitted for your LED. For standard 5 mm diameter LEDs, the maximum current is usually 20 milliamps or 20 MA, so 10 milliamps or 15 milliamps are suitable values for many circuits. Since an Arduino digital pin can supply around 40 milliamps of current, we can connect more or less two LEDs in one pin. Three, if you really want to stretch it out. Drawing a lot of milliamps in a single digital pin may damage the Arduino board or the electronic component attached to it. For this project, we are using project 4 and 5 of the Arduino intro app. Let's start first with project 4, connecting two LEDs in one digital pin. This project needs two LEDs and two 220 ohm resistors. You may also use 330 ohm resistors if you don't have the 220. 330 ohm resistors have the colors orange, orange, brown. Anything higher than 330 is still okay. However, the brightness of the LED will be reduced. Now, don't use resistors lower than 220 ohms as it will let more current pass through the LED, which is more than what it is rated for. Supplying too much current to the LED will damage it. For the breadboard, the objective is to connect the positive sides of both the LEDs into just one digital pin. This will let us save some digital pins that can be used for other components. We will borrow a simple trick we learned from the running lights project to connect the positive sides. The trick is to connect a jumper wire from the positive side into one of the power rails. Although there are other ways to connect the two sides, this method will show us how the power rails on the edges of the breadboard are connected as compared to the terminal strips at the middle part of the breadboard. So in this project, we will connect the positive sides to digital pin 9. Again, the negative sides go through a resistor before it goes to the GND or ground pin of the Arduino. This is similar to our running lights project. Now on to the code. If you look closely, the code is similar to our blinking light code, which is exactly what we want to happen. The difference here is that Instead of only one LED blinking, we now have two LEDs blinking at the same time. What we modified here is really on the hardware or the electronic side of things. So basically, we declare a variable for digital pin 9. Then we set that pin as an output pin inside our setup function. And in the loop function, we just turn on pin 9 and after one second, we turn it off. We wait for another second before we turn it on again. And this goes on in a loop until there is no more power supplied to the Arduino board. Now let's go to the next project, the four LEDs in two pins. By now, you should have an idea already of how to make the connections in the breadboard. This is another way to connect the positive sides of the two LEDs. We just connect the two sides using a jumper wire and with another wire, connect them to digital pin 9. 
what we do next is just to replicate what we did with the previous pair of LEDs. Only here, the jumper wire is connected to pin 5. Perhaps an important thing to remember here is that there should be a resistor connected to each LED. The code is similar to the alternate blink project. So again, we declare two variables on top, one for each pin. Variable pin led one for pin nine and variable pin led two for pin five. Then we set the two pins as output pins inside the setup function. Inside the loop function, we first turned off pin led one by giving it a low value and we turned on pin LED 2 by giving it a high value. This state stays for one second as indicated by the delay function with 1000 milliseconds. After the delay, pin LED 1 is then turned on while pin LED 2 is turned off. A delay of one second is again written before it goes back to the top of the loop. By connecting two or even three LEDs in one pin, we can increase the brightness of our LED lighting projects. However, I would strongly recommend using no more than three LEDs in one pin as it could cause erratic behavior on your project or it could potentially damage your Arduino board. Take note also to connect one resistor for each LED you use.